expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. Time for our tale of the tape. Sean Showtime Porter weighed in at 147 pounds even. That's the welterweight maximum. He's got a reach of about 70 inches, and that's pretty good for someone who only stands 5 foot 6 inches tall. And he'll be taking on the legend himself, Terrence Bud Crawford, 5 foot 7 inches tall, tipping the scales at 140 pounds, bang on, with a reach of 47 inches. Brawlers are a nightmare. You've got to be strong and fit. Use that long reach. Use that long jab. Do it that way. You'll be safe all night. It's Sean Showtime Porter fighting out of the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas, USA. This welterweight world champion looks to get back on top. Terrence Bud Crawford, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. He also can crack at welterweight, one of the best to ever do it. Just take note, take note, look at the reach. Look how much they're giving away in this fight. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Northeast Ohio, here is a welterweight champion of the world, Showtime, Sean Porter. Fighting out of the blue corner, from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three-division champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. The wait is over. The speaking stop. The fight begins now. Let's get the answers. So a capacity crowd here for this one. We've been waiting a long time for this matchup, and here we go. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Straight right just misses. They need to be careful they don't punch themselves out here. John Porter felt that his dad threw in the towel too early against Terrence Crawford. He doesn't want to get in trouble again. In fact, he says he's going for the knockout early in this one. Porter said the first time, you know what, Crawford was just too slick. I thought I had his number. Now you've got to remember, Porter's style is so irky-jerky. He's one of those what you just can't figure out. He's got a, he's got a pace it's hard to tune into. And he thought, I've got Crawford's number. Crawford was too slick, too dominant. He knew exactly how to deal with a man in front of him. And Sean Porter did what Sean Porter did. He put on a show. He said, all right, let's see what you got. So now... We'll do this a second time. We'll get in there and do it all over again. Sean Porter knows he has the strength. He needs to turn back time. Bring that youth of unpredictability about his, his fighting rugged style. Sean Porter has got to be more refined. Box him sharp, box him slick, box him powerfully. Don't put him on the back foot. <laughs> Misses with that jab. And that straight got him. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. The perfect counter lands. Let's talk about Sean Porter in that last round. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Wow, you know what? I've been in five side up. And there's the bell to start the round. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot and jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Uh, 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 
Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. Did you see the nerves on a fighter stepping into the ring, Tom? It can tell you so much about a fighter. And they're looking in the opposite corner. You've got one fighter that, that is in heaven. This is where they want to be. They exchange punches. No rest for the weary. This fight a little bit closer than I think a lot of people thought. The straight right just misses. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's not a match made in heaven. Good counter punch. This fighter's completely content. Sean Porter just got rocked. was not a good moment for him, but seems like he's out of the dark place. What the cutting skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. And Porter goes down. How about that technique on that headshot? Let's see it again and appreciate it more. Where did that come from? What a shot. Are you okay? Let's talk about Sean Porter in that last round. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. Can make or break a fighter. Breathe and relax. Breathe and relax. Right. Thank you. They ring the bell, and here we go. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. The straight right just misses. <laughs> Throws the jab and doesn't score. <laughs> Caution being thrown to the wind. When you're fighting a counter puncher, the feint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're going to punch, make the counter puncher throw a punch, and then you counter them. They have got great ring life too. Counter punches are the best. This has been a very competitive match between these two. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. And he misses with that jab. Looking to land the hook. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. So much for, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Sean Porter in that last round. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This... They ring the bell, and here we go. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on there. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. <laughs> This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. I've done that before. Use your reach. Use your speed. Just straight the him. Made him make a mistake. Porter backing up after that heavy shot. It appears that 
just a moment of trouble has passed. Release for now. Seen the took round, so Sean Porter just got rocked. And it appears they weathered the storm. Uh-oh, Porter is on wobbly legs. That'll go, Sean Porter. Everything looks better in slow motion. Let's take another look. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So time to go celebrate after a knockout win here. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.